Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'm going to talk to you about something that I bought for myself eh, for kind of like two reasons. And I thought maybe you would be interested in it as well. And it is the Iron Man wireless mouse. Now before I show you everything on the front, let me show you the back. That's going to be the optical part about it does have an on and off switch right up in here once my camera decides to focus and once you take off the door it takes two AAA batteries and this piece just above my finger that is the wireless dongle this little piece right here now this will go into your USB port so your mouse can communicate with your desktop, laptop, or whatever device you're going to use. Now, if you look closely, you can see the lines here. It def uh, defines the right and left mouse buttons, which is right here. This is the DPI switch. Of course, you got two eyes on it. And it's a 2.4 gigahertz wireless mouse which means you got a signal strength up to 33 feet. Basically what that means, yes, you can be up to 33 feet away from your device, your laptop or desktop computer or whatever, and the mouse will still work. The DPI switch changes between three different resolutions, 800, 1200, and 1600 resolution. This mouse is compatible with Windows XP all the way up to the current Windows 10. Yes, it does work. I've used it. It's also compatible with Linux and Mac OS. Now, <clears throat> to change the DPI resolution, you just simply press right there in the center. As you can hear the clicking, but the right and left mouse buttons are really, really quiet. Here, I'm going to be quiet and I'm going to go ahead and press either one of them. I don't know if that's picking up on my microphone. So now let me put it a little bit further away, somewhere kind of like where you might have it on your desk, and I'll click the buttons. So it's really, really quiet. Now it does have, like I said, a little power switch there. Right now it's currently in the off position, but it has two other settings. And I'm about to show you that right now. Let me just get the batteries in there for you. Put the lid back on. The first position is obviously just to turn the mouse on so you can use it for your everyday mouse usage for whatever you're going to work for. But the second position, eh, it doesn't look too good right now, but the eyes are blue. And I like that a lot. Oh, by the way, it does have a scroll wheel right here. Uh, let me shut some of the lights off. Maybe the blue color will come out better that way. Yep, the blue lights come out a little bit better. Now, I bought the mouse, like I said, for two reasons. One is because, sorry, I had to turn the lights back on. One is because, yes, I am a fan of the Iron Man movies. And two because it just looks so cool when you turn those lights on. Even if you don't want to use the mouse, you know, for your everyday usage, it would just look cool if you were to stand it up and then just turn the blue little lights on so it'll shine blue, it would look really cool. Now it does take a little getting used to this mouse. As you can see, the profile really isn't that tall, you know, from the top to the bottom. 
So it took me a little bit to get used to that. Also, because the bottom part where your palm is going to be at is right around these little edges here, they're not really sharp, but you can definitely feel the corners sometimes. And it does take a little getting used to not hearing the click from the right and left mouse button. But it was at a good price. I got it, I believe it was for 15 bucks at the time. Prices on Amazon do go up and down, so please bear that in mind. I also like how it takes two AA or AAA batteries instead of just one AA. Because that, for me, that added a little bit extra weight. And I like that feeling of the little extra weight on it. But that's it. So far, I've used this uh, mouse for just over two weeks now. I've already gotten used to it. And it glides really nice. As you can see, the glide pads, they got one up here, two right here on the bottom. It works really, really nice especially even on an older mouse pad because when i first got this in my mouse pad was old it was dirty it was kind of a little bit grungy and it still glided over it really nicely when i got my new mouse pad this really was moving around on that mouse pad so it moves really nice as well and after kind of getting used to it a little bit so it feels really nice and comfortable in the hand. It's almost natural to, to use it now for me. So that's it. That is the Iron Man 2.4 gigahertz wireless mouse. Until the next video, you have a fantastic day.